come to everything with two fans. So I saw this video and you know some people say that it's a prank video is already arranged. But what say if I this even if it's a prank video it's already arranged for people to go to this level and I believe that there are people that will actually do what this young lady has done. I won't even believe that the guy that brought out that 600,000 was thinking that he would never get anybody that would do that from his face. Look at his face expression, but he got someone. So let me not confuse you with my conclusion. So this young man went on the road with 600,000, almost a thousand dollars. And he was looking for someone that could collect it and allow him to tear their clothes. Then they can go home naked. And at the first approach of this girl, the girl declined and even removed her slippers and she started to beat the guy. But when the guy said it's 600,000, at the second third, this girl stood by the road. And this guy, you could see that this guy was literally shaking while he tears her clothes. And he kept saying, you could see in his eyes, I feel that if they say this was staged, then the acting was really, really good. And then he succeeded in tearing all her clothes and he gave her the 600,000. And you know, when I sent this video to Shay, Shay said that the girl does not know herself what. She never believed that she could make that money. Today, so many, this tactics, this guy used so many children of God. The devil is using the same tactics on us. Eh, what do you have to lose? Just take this and take this, take this. And we'll look at the finances that we could get doing those things is going to do for us on this earth. And then we'll forget our almighty God. He said, the earth belongs to me. The Lord belongs to the Lord. And the fullness thereof. He says, silver and gold is mine. And even before we get to the Lord claiming that those things belong to him. Yeah. The Bible told us, told us that he is the creator of everything. He's the creator of heavens and the earth, underneath earth, the water, the sea, the mountains. He's the creator of everything. Even the ideas, the knowledge, the everything we take, we realize and begin to create other things that have created this world or have cut our fancy. That, that we are now working restlessly to be able to acquire they all belong to this God. I know it's difficult when we're in a difficult situation and the Lord is not coming immediately. But then we sell so cheaply to someone that has taken a small from what your father has. You know, this made me to think, uh, when my uncle was the governor of Benue State, it became so tough at some point that if you want to go to Benue government house to see him, it's difficult, which is the normal thing. The security will not even allow the governor himself to go to some certain places because of protocol prote protection and what have you not. And some of them are even cock guns at you. <laughs> I didn't know. I just thought that if my uncle has become a governor, then I have access to him 24 hours. It was not so. At times, they will even tell your wife that, tell you that you cannot even see your wife based on security details and some other stuff. And there's this distant cousin of ours that wanted to see him. And she, when eventually she saw him, she told us that she gave someone money, the security man money to be able to see him. So at times, because God is God, if this is the governor and there's people, you know, blocking like that and God is God, then it happens. So the devil takes something small from what God has because you don't know how to take it. And then he comes, he camouflages and make you do a disgraceful and shameful act that you, if you know your power in God and you know your place in God, if her cousin had known that that is her brother, if she does not see him in government house, she will see him eventually when he comes home and she was patient, then she wouldn't have gone through what she went through. 
Though the guy was caught and dealt with. But look at it. That's what happens to us. And you know God will reward the enemy as well. But we need to understand even our worthiness. We need to understand that we are children of God. We need to understand that silver and gold belongs to our God. We need to understand that our Father owns the moon, the stars, and the, and everything that is. And the fullness thereof, the trees, the food, and everything. And then we ask him. The Bible says that faith without works is useless. Like T.B. Joshua would say, pray as if it all depends on you, on God. And then read as if it all belong, depends on you. So whatever you have to do, do it with all your might as if, if I don't do it, I'm not succeeding. And then pray to God as if, if God, you don't bless, this thing is not succeeding. Those are the two ingredients that make it possible. So when I talk about your father owning everything, does not mean that you should go home and sit and say, my father own it. So the servants, the angels are going to bring this. They are going to bring that. You have, God has needs to see your effort to know that you really want what you are asking for. Let's not sell ourselves cheaply as this girl did. Look at it. Even the guy had mercy on her at the end of the day. He didn't tear her pants and he allowed her to go with her pants with that bra. The other guy that apparently had the camera wanted them to go all out. Why? Because she took a look and said 600,000. It will do a lot for me. And nobody will say that it won't do a lot for them. No matter how big you are, you can stock your house for a month. You can stock your house for a month. And I saw a lesson in this video and I said, why not? Let's talk about this. Do let me know the, what angle you would have seen uh, that I have not seen in the comment section. And she you will attach the real video in the comment section so that you can watch it. I know this channel is not for this type of content. But when I saw this content, honestly, it ministered to me in a different way. And I felt um, the need to come and share with you. Stay firm. Remain in God. Your father will come. He will not deny. He said, if we, being wicked parents, know how to give good gifts unto our children, then how much more him? God, that there is no shadow that turns with him. He doesn't change. How much more him, God, that has no evil in him? Let's trust the Lord in every situation we are in. Having said that, this is where I go. I love you all. I will see you again when I see you. Bye-bye.